Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 57th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can add a column to an existing table in SQL. So the SQL command that we're going to use is the alter table command and uh, using this command, you can add columns, uh, you know, to a table and you can also drop columns from a table. And uh, it's a very, very, very powerful and uh, popular command. And uh, you know, this is going to be an interesting tutorial. So anyway, we have been working with this table called student underscore info. And uh, these are the fields that we have in this table, you know, we've got ID name, gender, email and DOB. Now let's say you want to add a field called uh, course in this table, which uh, will be of integer type and uh, which will also accept some value for each row. So, you know, we are also going to apply the not null constraint to it and it's not going to be the primary key. So, you know, we're not going to worry about this uh, particular column. So, you know, the way we are going to do that is uh, we'll type in alter and then table and then the name of the table, which in this case will be student underscore info and then you will type in add, right? So this is another SQL keyword. And then you will type in the name of the column that you want to add to this table. So let's say you want to name that course, and then you will type in the data type for uh, this particular field. And, uh, you know, as I said, we're going to make it integer. So I'll type in INT. And then you have to type in the constraints that you want to apply to this particular field. So if you want to apply the not null constraint, just type in not null and put a semicolon at the end. And, uh, you know, when I press control enter again, I don't see a result set, but uh, the query was ex executed successfully. So if I would execute the describe uh, student underscore info command now, I would see that in the result set, I also see an entry for course, you know, and uh, its type is integer and it cannot accept null values. So, you know, uh, the column was inserted with just the right properties. Now, you know, we would also want to insert some data in this table, you know, for the next tutorial. So. I'm going to run the insert into query, insert into student underscore info and uh, then values. So, you know, currently this table doesn't have any uh, row of data. So I'll type in one for ID and uh, for name, I'll type in John again. You know, I don't know why I'm obsessed with that name, but I just am. And then for uh, gender, I'll type in male. And uh, then for email address, I'll type in John at gmail.com and uh, then for what else uh, we had dob right so for dob i'll type in 1987 slash uh, you know zero one slash 25 and uh, then for course i'll uh, just type in one okay so integer value one is okay and uh, then i'll put a semicolon at the end press control enter and i have an error in this query and where could that error be? Oh, I forgot to put a comma here. So I'll have to put a comma. And uh, when I press control enter now, I see that the query was executed successfully. And let me just run a select star on this. So select star from student underscore info. And there we go. We see this data. So the course field has a value one now. And uh, we're going to use this table plus we'll create another table called courses in the next tutorial. And uh, then I'm going to uh, show you guys how we can, you know, join tables and, uh, you know, work with fields and, uh, you know, get data from two tables on the basis of some conditions in our result sets, right? So that's going to be, again, a very interesting tutorial. And I hope you guys had fun watching this one. You may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Till then, take care.